Alright, what is up? It's like 3.30 a.m., but I finally managed to get Xenotaf to drop, and I wanted to make this video as soon as I got it. This video was going to go out first thing once I had this stupid, incredible helmet. It looks like half of a trace rifle. Like, the helmet does trace rifle stuff. It looks like you would, like, copy-paste the helmet flip it over, stack it on top, and a beam would come out of it, right? But, anyways, this is the Cenotaph mask. It is, it's crazy. I'm, fucking look at it. But, the reason we're making this video is because this is not going to be a super easy helmet to make good looks for. It is really big big which can be difficult on a helmet because you know maybe it's just me i don't like it when my fashion's super top heavy i don't i don't want to look like an ice cream cone i like it balanced or i like it bottom heavy usually save that for the titans though it feels a bit bulkier and slower but anyways Let's go down the line. We're going to start with the chest, because the chest piece is going to be real important, because of the neck specifically. I went with the holdfast robes. With with a helmet this bulky, the way I see it, you're going to want something to kind of brace that, in a sense. So with the holdfast robes, they have a big neck piece. Now, this can work with a few other things. I think Exodus Down could be better. It's not super weighty in other parts, but it does have a does have a decent neck piece that I think helps the helmet work. And of course, you know, there's other stuff. I haven't looked through a lot of them, but you know, it's subjective. I'm sure you can find something that looks good. Now, up next, I went with the Siege Break gloves. Really, I just think they match the hold fast robes. These can probably be worked around a bit, but I did also want some bulk on the gloves to keep a bit more balance with the helmet. Up next, we went with the Lost Pacific boots. The boots can really be swapped around as you want, but these, these have a bit of weight on them, more so than a lot of other Warlock boots, really because of these cuffs around the shins. So that's why I went with those. Bond we went with Ciceratops again just adds a bit of weight where there wasn't much previously. Shader can really go with anything. I went with Horizons Beyond just because I think it's a nice shader, really. And I kind of wanted to lean into the default look. It's not a precise match, but you know, I work with what I have. However, you know, this can really be anything you want. Carhe Black isn't too bad. Raven Silk isn't too bad. Flower Child is really just hilarious to look at. It's subjective. Shaders are easily the easiest part of the outfit to just swap around as you want. This is going to be a much shorter video today. It is 3.30 a.m. and I don't feel like making more. So... Um, you have a good night, go have, have fun with this new trace rifle helmet, uh, bye.